Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Michelle and Mark just got married and they live in separate houses. This house is very sadly lacking. They have to sell his house so they can renovate her house. We need the money to get it done. I'm on it, okay, I'm on it. The only problem is his house isn't going to sell. This is not good. I have to replace all of this. This is just lit. Looks like a job for critical listing. <laughs> what did that drawer ever do to you? I'm real estate agent Lisa Kolalilo, and I'm meeting Michelle and Mark, newlyweds who still don't live together. They need to renovate Michelle's house so it's big enough for Mark and his son, but they need to sell Mark's house first to afford the renovations. And it's neglected. So what I understand is that this, Mark, is your home right now, and you're looking to sell it so that you can move in together in Michelle's home. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is a 1940s house, and it is unrenovated. This house is very sadly lacking. Old bathroom, an old kitchen. It makes sense to put some money into this house to make it the best house it can be, and that'll give us a chance to get the best dollar for this house. So we gotta pull the money out of here, do some renovations, and make Michelle's house the dream home. That's, That's right. the plan. Yeah. Michelle's house is better for a couple reasons. One is it's two floors, and this house is a bungalow. The thing about my house is that it's got a great location. What are you hoping to get from this? We hope we might be able to get 650. Both of us have a very eclectic style. Like Mark's wearing a flower brooch, and we're not confident that kind of our style is really everyone else's style in order to sell the home. I'm gonna take a look at the house, mm -hmm. and then I'll meet you guys back here in a few minutes. Great. great. Okay, great. great. We'll see you in a bit. Well, first off, buyers are gonna love this lot. I mean, it's a double wide lot, and it's got the garage. Fantastic. But grass is overgrown. You've got grass even growing through the driveway interlock. Really, it's just neglected and sad looking here. The house is definitely looking unloved on the outside. This is a pretty decent sized boy. I mean, really all it needs is a little bit of decluttering. Boys are messy. Just look, look, look at me, I'm a mess. This is a huge room. Totally not expecting this. I mean, just from looking at the outside, I would never expect to see such a great layout in here. All right, looks really good. A lot of space, and that buyers will love. Wow, this is a bathroom with a lot of character. I mean, the tiles are clearly original, but this needs to be touched up and freshened up. Ah, the master bedroom. Clearly, they've updated the closets and it's got a lot of space. Ooh, original kitchen. Okay, this could be the ugliest kitchen in the city. It looks like they've attempted with the appliances to update it. The only thing is these are so oversized for the space, it just makes it feel even smaller. Buyers are gonna look at this and think, I need to put at least twenty dollars to $30,000 to get a new kitchen, and that's gonna reduce the price that they're willing to offer for this house. Hi, guys. Hey, hi, Lisa. First of all, I just want to say that you have a really lovely home. Oh, thanks. Now, I know it's not what you're hoping for, but given the work that still needs to be done to the home, today your house is worth closer to $560,000. Really? Yeah, I know. I, I'm surprised by that, because just across the street, a house sold just last month. Same kind of house as mine yeah. for $550. Well, I gave you $560. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The good news is that you can actually get closer to that $650,000 range that you're hoping for, but the kitchen definitely needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. I would love to bring in the team and have them assess it and see what we can do with this house. Okay, great. So my next question is, what's the renovation budget that you're willing to put back into this house in order to get top dollar for it? So we talked about it, and our budget is? Well, if you think we get to 650, then I think we can probably put 25,000 in it. It'd be a good investment. $25,000? Okay, that's Sound good? Yeah, sounds I think wonderful. we got a deal. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Okay, Thanks, awesome. Michelle.
It won't be easy to raise the value of Mark's house by almost $100,000. So, I've called in design and landscape experts Joe Alcorn and Carson Arthur to see how they can stretch this $25,000 materials budget between them. So this is Mark's house, and he needs to sell it in order to move in with Michelle, who is his new wife. Ah, uh, cohabitating. Yeah. And so they need to get top dollar for this house because there's a lot of renovations that need to be done on Michelle's house in order to make it their new dream home. So what's oh, considered okay. top dollar for this house? Well, in this neighborhood, renovated homes, they'll go for $650,000. The problem is, right now, this house is worth $560,000. Right. Okay. So $90,000, but what's the budget? We're going to be working with $25,000. $25,000 material cost, and we're sharing that. You got it. Let's figure this out and get them top dollar. All right, so I'll see smart. you guys soon. First impression? Blah. <laughs> Problems that I'm going to have to fix? There's no path from the driveway to oh, the front door. Yeah. Good point. The whole driveway's starting to buckle in, which means I have to replace all of this. What do you think of the little Juliet balcony? Can it leave? Yeah, I think it has to go too. It's a lot of white. White is my favorite color, but I think there's too much here. All right. But I do like this front door. OK, this is tiny and cluttered. Wow. Do I even fit in here? I know. Come on in. <laughs> well, this kind of little wasted space. Look it. How does that fit with this beautiful living room? It's freshly painted, the antiques. This is nice. OK, kitchen. Oh, I'm kind of speechless. The, the efficiency and flow in here is really odd. Awesome. This is a bizarre space yeah. actually, for a kitchen. I couldn't imagine having a kitchen without a dishwasher, but it's a lot of wasted space right there. Though I do love the chalkboard. Where would you put the fridge? Because it doesn't fit there. I know. Well, that fridge is too big. You could do counter depth. I would not want this house because of the kitchen. Like, everything else is gorgeous. Then you come in here, and this is just lit. For the price they're wanting, this kitchen has to be nice. OK. Oh, she's in the park. Oh. I love this place. Yeah? Dollar-wise, though, because the driveway is going to eat up a big chunk of my budget, I need at least $10,000 to make an impact out here. What do you think about the inside? Because the living room and dining room is in good condition, I need to carry that through into the kitchen. So I'm thinking I put my money all in the kitchen. I think that's where we're going to get our value. I mean, if we can make that kitchen spectacular, that would be great. I think I can save some money from the kitchen and put it into the front entryway and give you that wow factor. I think it's good. OK, so I'm happy. Yeah, I feel good, too. And now, for us, I think we need a coffee. Let's go. Yes. Although, I want to go on the swings. <gasps> oh, are you too long? Oh, yeah. We're swinging into action. Joe's got to wow potential buyers in the foyer and the kitchen with 15000 and Carson's 10000 for curb appeal will get the buyers in the door. OK, boys. Demolition day. We're removing the driveway, and we have to do it by hand because I need to save all the interlock brick. My plan is to replace the interlock driveway with asphalt because it's better suited for the purpose of parking your car, but it's also going to look a lot nicer at the point of sale. We're taking out the pathway. We're going to take out all the grass and all the plants. Easy, right? Yeah, everybody's like, yeah, yeah OK. Let's get to let's it. Let's get tools. <laughs> I really need to make connection between the driveway and the front walkway. That way, in the wintertime, people can actually get to the front door without having to walk through the snow. Simple. I'm going to do a big, wide path, recycling the old inner lock. Hi, Carson. Happy demo day. Hi, <laughs> literally. Dan the man. How are you doing? Good. Ready for today? Oh, absolutely. OK. I want to take out all the cabinets, these silly, fake bulkheads. I want to take out this whole closet area and get proper storage, get a counter depth fridge. And I don't want to keep anything in here. I am at your disposal, sir. So I am helping today. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. There you go. What did that drawer ever do to you? <laughs> this anger is coming from the thought of Carson taking all my money. <laughs> I wish he gave me more money. <laughs> All right, guys, back up. <laughs> You're going to do a little patch on the roof. We're not taking you golfing anymore. I swing like Joe. <laughs> Definitely better. Mr. Carson Arthur. Are <laughs> you coming to inspect? So far, so good. A lot happening. We have confirmed that asphalt is coming in. 
So we're gonna do asphalt driveway with an interlock banding on the outside. Now this driveway would cost about $4,000 and we're creating a courtyard effect with retaining walls for $3,000. $1,000 will be spent on a bird bath, $1,500 on plants and the balance on paint, lights and custom house numbers. That's my $10,000 budget, all accounted for. The other thing I am adding is I'm gonna put a focal point right here. Okay, what's that gonna be? A little be? boy peeing in a fountain? No, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. But I do wanna add something with character here because I need a focal point here okay. versus to the wings. That's gone. The garland's gone. <laughs> yeah, we didn't need it anymore, so it's out. I think just removing that trim work that was going on over the garage has already brought this 1940s home into the 21st century Perfect. already. We're making it ready for that younger couple that you said wants this house. Yeah. We're on it. Joe? In the kitchen. OK. I can't believe how much bigger it is in here. Want to hear my plan? Yeah. OK. 12 of my 15,000 will be spent on new floors, cabinets, and counter space. We're extending the new countertops under the second kitchen window. Another 2,000 pays for a counter depth fridge, and the remaining 1,000 will clean up and organize the entryway. Having an area where they can now actually sit in here is going to be phenomenal because it creates a space for family, yes. right? Now. Good night, guys. See how I stayed a lot later than Carson? Somebody's got to. Mark that down. <laughs> I can understand why Mark and Michelle would choose Michelle's neighborhood over Mark's, because this neighborhood has it all. It's got boutiques and shops, and it's just so much closer to everything, whereas Mark's place, it's got more of a suburban feel to it. Let's see what kind of crazy plans these newlyweds have for Michelle's place. Uh, yeah. Hey, I had to see the love nest of my two sweethearts. <laughs> oh. okay, so here's our coat rack. OK. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. So we've got a storage, storage, storage problem. The kitchen is nice, but it's too small for a family. We have this tiny little bump out of the window. And actually, we can extend the house out back here to expand the back part, which is where the kitchen is. This is the media room that we put in. We actually gave up a bedroom to, to create this space. One of the other big projects we have is just to redo the entire bathroom. There's not a lot of storage. It's been poorly renovated. This was the perfect setting for a single girl. But you start adding in a child and a husband and all the stuff that comes with them, and there's not enough space. I mean, she's got to share a washroom now. The plans for the space are to take that wall, which is the bathroom wall, and maybe move it in halfway to this room and make the bathroom bigger after we put a third floor on. So the master bedroom would go on the third, third floor, floor, and mm -hmm. then all the rooms on the second floor would become larger. They want to extend the kitchen, make it bigger, add an entire third floor. I'm seeing dollar signs, dollar signs. Yeah, we're trying to get as much as we can to reinvest in this house. If they can't do all the renovations that they want to to Michelle's house, I mean, Michelle's not going to be happy, and then Mark's not going to be happy, and that's not going to be. Today, we got to put a retaining wall in. And while Carson gets started on his walls, Joe's taking care of hers. I love white subway tiles. They are timeless. They're classic. They are well-priced. And they really go with any kitchen. Yay! We've got a backsplash that won't cause ripples in our budget. Good morning. Good morning. There's Mrs. Spot. There's a hole. Ooh, the floors are done. Yeah, floors are done. Awesome. Floor. Done. OK, so I want to cross something else off. The next on the list is cabinets. Can I help you finish this? If you'd like to help me finish, that would be very sweet. OK. <laughs> I'm only doing it because it's like, come on, let's get this yeah. done. <laughs> you know, if we were Carson's uh, crew, there'd be eight of us in here doing this. <laughs> Last one. Cabinets, done. Here we go. Aw. Nice. So I have some issues. Issues? Don't go there. <laughs> Since I said oh, like, you mean yeah. with your design? Well, sort of. Okay. Did you notice the front pathway walking in? Yes, there's a big hole there. Okay, it's not a hole. Oh. The plan is that that will be a four or five tier fountain. Is there enough room, though? Well, that's my problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. 
Yeah. What are you going to do? What about a bird bath? Well, I'm not a fan of birds being near me, let alone walking up to a front door. <laughs> so that kind of creeps me out. at your head? Yes, don't. <laughs> do right. not like that. But it's the right shape and the right height. Do you need to have water in it for the birds? It actually might look really good planted. Ooh, and no birds. That's a good idea. Thanks, Joe. Look at those paint colors. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Yay! Oh, that's <laughs> be way a nicer. Hi, Dan. This is looking good. It's coming along. Is it too early to cross off countertops? It'll be done today. I can cross it off early? OK, <laughs> awesome. Countertops done. What are you doing? I'm, I'm painting because I have no room in my budget for a painter. What are you wearing? Oh, I don't <laughs> want to get my clothes wrecked. <laughs> you need help? Would you? No. But I wanted to ask. Well, you can reach up higher. I can't reach all the way up there. Roof two? The what? No. Don't touch the roof. <laughs> and it's called a ceiling. We're inside, not outside. Oh, snap. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey. Wow. Big changes? Yeah. So is this the brick from the driveway? Yeah, we took all that interlock and created this courtyard space and widened that front path. So now we have a space that's truly accessible. And functional. I mean, now you can actually get from the driveway to the front door, which is the direction we want potential <laughs> buyers to be moving in. Other than a few planting details and some cleanup, we're really close to being done and on budget. On time and on budget. This yeah, is maybe. a good visit. I don't even have to jump that time. <laughs> All right, good luck. Bye. Hey, Joe. Oh my god, the kitchen is almost completed. As you can see, we have countertop Yay. from that whole end all the way around. So we've really made the kitchen bigger without changing the footprint. Yeah. Way more functional. And do we have new floors? Or yes, of course, oh. new floors. You're so far ahead. We still have to, you know, install the hardware, finish painting. We have a couple more doors we have to hang, but I'm feeling pretty good. Oh my god, I gotta give you a hug. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazing. I well, feel good. Well, then I'm gonna give you the honors of crossing off. Uh, a few of my items on the honey-do list. Lighting, done. Done. Okay, that's, that's OK. We have more time. I think that's where I should probably go. <laughs> I am feeling so great about this visit. I mean, everything seems on time. I think Joe's even ahead of her schedule. What does that ever happen? Something is going on in the air. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Don't look yet. We want it to be a surprise. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Here's the new front of your home. Wow. Oh, it looks so modern. The terrible thing was we always have to park in the driveway and then walk around the around. But now, <laughs> there's like a lovely path leads up to the house. That's, yeah. that's great. Look at the foliage. Like, this is going to be great in the summer and the winter. But mm -hmm. this isn't for us. For the new <laughs> buyer, right? <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> but what, what a difference, though. This, the curb appeal is amazing now. Oh, hey, the walkway's even wider. <laughs> wow. Lucky buyers. I mean, this is definitely going to wow people when they show up. Oh, yeah. It's got tons of curb appeal. It looks awesome. <gasps> All right, let's go inside. Let's okay. Good. see the rest of it. So take a look at the new foyer. Wow. Oh, wow. It's great. I love the blue. It, it's so much less cluttered than when I had it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, oh, it's fabulous. Oh, and there's even little hooks underneath the shelf, too. That's good, too, for little kids. So James can and hang stuff. Well, oh, James won't be hanging stuff there anymore, really. For the new family. Yeah, another exactly, family, yeah. Another family. Oh, it's That's fabulous. Great. It just, it, it seems more functional. Yeah, and it's this is just a teaser to what is next in line for you guys to see. Are you guys ready to see uh, the kitchen? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, let's go. Right. But, <laughs> keep looking. No peeking. Oh, I see some flooring. Yeah, oh. now take a look at the new kitchen. <gasps> oh my god! Wow. That's gorgeous. What a difference. Holy. <gasps> it's so functional. Oh my gosh. What happened to the old kitchen? <laughs> Oh, it's gorgeous. Such a change. 
Now you stop talking, I can actually maybe say something. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it has way more storage, mm -hmm. even though it's basically the same layout. They removed the bulkhead, so you can Oh, the cabinets go to the left. Oh, that's right. Close to the ceiling. What a big difference yeah. that makes, too. But then even the counter going all the way across here, mm -hmm. it looks like it's, it's doubled or tripled the amount of counter space I had in the kitchen mm -hmm. before. There's one more thing, too. <gasps> oh, no, wow. Hey. Sure. Okay, Come now I'm definitely them. staying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's amazing. This like flows in. You wouldn't even know it was there. Yeah, you don't even see it. From the other side it. of the kitchen, don't see it. It looks like a cabinet. But that, that <laughs> right there, that dishwasher is going to help sell the house, right? Absolutely. Yeah, everybody wants to come in and want to have a dishwasher. Nobody wants to wash dishes. No. I think I can see the value. Hopefully, we'll see it when we yeah. get to the house. Big changes, huh? Holy cow. Amazing. So when we first saw the house, I valued it at $560,000. But after your $25,000 investment mm -hmm. and all the great work that both Joe and Carson have done to the outside and the inside, mm -hmm. today your house is valued at... <laughs> yes. yes. She loves this game. $650,000. Oh, awesome. Yeah. $650,000 is a great number. It just was not living up to its potential. Now we've passed that and we're going for the moon. We definitely increased the potential. So hopefully the buyers will see that and we'll see that in our pockets when we and we can take that money and use it. Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking forward to actually getting the house in the market and, and, and having a bidding war, having somebody come in here and give me the money you want for the house. I actually already have a friend in mind that needs to come and see this house because I think they'd love it. So I don't even know if, if Mark even has to put it up for sale. I already have a buyer. What is that? That is uh, what we should have here. It's a blue circle in the middle of my walkway. Perfect. It'll match the stone, won't it? It's going to look <laughs> awful is what it's going to look like. Thanks for finding that, Helder. It's sewer. You think you so? You know how I think so? Because I smell <laughs> Oh. Hell.